Welcome Chloe Sumrall, a food entrepreneur here in Jackson, Mississippi. Hey, Chloe. Hey, how you doing? I'm great. Thanks so much for being here today. I'm excited about what you're here to talk about. You are the owner of Coco's Multi Culti. I'm going to call it Multi Coco every time, but I know that's not right. You're, you're at the Cultivation Food Hall and have been there since May. Tell me about that journey. What's that been like to have a stall at Cultivation Food Hall? It's been awesome. I used to be on the management team at Cultivation and helped them develop the Yo Mamas concept there. So I was a little familiar with what it was like to start a stall, but this is my first time being a full business owner and handling it myself. It's been it's been a great time and definitely a very new experience for me. Okay, are we gonna break some big news here today? You're moving on. You're doing something else. You I are starting a food truck, right? I am. We are buying a food truck. Uh, it will still be under the Coco's name, and we will be doing multi culty there as well. But we will be based out of the Eco Shed. We're super excited to be a part of their food lab program which means that we have a prep space there and the ability to do a pop-up similar to the stall that we have in cultivation in the Eco Shed building, but also be able to get prepped up and take our food on the road. I'm recording actually from the Flamingo today at Eco Shed. Thanks a lot, Hurricane Ida, for knocking my power out for a little bit, but I'm glad to be here and I know you're going to enjoy being here too. This is kind of a, a community space and you talked to me earlier that maybe you would have some Sunday events or other special things that maybe you weren't able to do at the food hall, right? Yeah, we're really excited about what we're going to be able to do right now. Cultivation's closed on Sundays and we're really excited to be taking advantage of doing a Sunday brunch truck and we'll be featuring that on the weekends. And then as well as just we currently have seven other restaurants so we have to make sure we're not stepping on their toes when it comes to our menu items and once we're out on our own we'll be able to kind of really embrace that multi culty format and be able to make whatever it is we feel like making. Yeah, and that's the format, right? Like you just love to cook and certain things go well together at certain points and other times you just want to experiment with food. Exactly. I've loved getting to experiment with maybe there are some items that I talk to my food rep and they say, hey, we have a ton of this or we actually just got our hands on this, which is really rare produce to have around here do you want some and of course it's a great time to say i've never had sea beans before bring them to me and let me figure out what i can do with them so i'm really excited to have a little bit more of an open playground uh, once we move to the ego shed your love of food you told me comes from your childhood talk to me a bit about kind of cooking at the knees and feet of your grandmother so to speak definitely um we have a, a step stool in the kitchen so that i could always get up there and, and play along and luckily no one uh, was too worried about me having a knife at a young age because I was determined to be in there with them. My great grandmother and my grandmother both constantly had me in the kitchen cutting vegetables for our, a classic vegetable soup which will always be one of the most nostalgic foods for me and then my grandmother on my dad's side every time that I stayed over there in the morning the first thing we would do is make a big plate of crepes and that will I'm very excited uh, to, to get to be playing around with that again and getting to be doing what I know that if I got to talk to childhood me, she'd be really proud of what we're doing now. You also have plans for a future restaurant. Uh, I don't want to tell too much. Maybe you can tell us a little more about those plans. Well, we're very excited to announce uh, all of the details as soon as we can. I've been holding on to this secret, uh, which has not been the easiest for me because it's probably the most exciting news of my life. But uh, we do have a full service restaurant coming and it will be beautiful. I can guarantee you that our architects have been amazing and I've seen the 3D rendering of like walking through and it is a beautiful building and I got to lay out my kitchen exactly like I want it. So I will have a full service restaurant in the greater Jackson Metro uh, that should be available or should be open September of next year is our is our anticipated goal now, but definitely follow along so that you can hear the full news when it's ready. Yeah, in the meantime, catch you popping up all over town in the Coco's food truck and at the Eco Shed in the Industry Park neighborhood here in Jackson. So, Chloe, before I let you go, I always ask this question of all of our guests, and that is Jackson, Mississippi. What makes it such a special place to you? 
Well, I swore that uh, I would never come back after college. Uh, and then immediately once I got done, I, I knew that I needed to come back here. There's a part of this that will always be home. And I think that if we keep losing the people that want to make this place better, then there isn't hope left because the people that are here that are wanting to make it better and grow their businesses and help to grow this community that's what's going to grow jackson and keep jackson strong and alive and that is something that i've wanted to see my whole life i've been able to see this potential of what we're doing and i think that there are great places that are starting to make major change You've got Midtown Depot bringing in an art and beer garden, which we've never seen in the state. You have Cultivation Food Hall is the only food hall in the state. The Eco Shed, which has created this awesome urban farm and location for people to have a co-working space. So we're starting to see those things that are in bigger cities coming here. So it's just time for us to all buckle down and do our part to make sure that the city is as great as we all know that it can be. We're going to put links in our show notes to your social media, your websites, and help people keep up with all of your adventures. Food entrepreneur, Chloe Sumrall. Thanks so much for being here today, Chloe. Thanks so much. 